Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing really wonderful this morning. And so I'm here with the latest with what to expect and what's currently happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And later in this video, we will be taking a look at a tropical storm Beatrice, which is expected to become a hurricane later today that has already begun affecting some areas. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update all right and so uh let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on out there so we're starting out with the surface chart and uh, here we can see that there are three tropical waves noted across the area there is one southwest of the cabo verde islands another is uh, closer to the caribbean with its axis extended uh just near the uh Suriname french guiana border right there and another is uh, in the caribbean with its axis extended from haiti downward to the uh, venezuela colombia border now ahead of that tropical wave uh, that is about to make its way into the region uh, is a lot of activity, lots of showers and thunderstorms, and that will be enhancing the risk of uh, a lot of heavy rainfall and even flooding across some parts of the southeastern Caribbean. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening on satellite. All right, so here we have it, and we can see all of this uh, activity, all this moisture right now just outside the region that is closing in. So overnight, there has been the development of a lot more showers and uh, thunderstorms, and uh, it is getting closer in proximity. So as I said, all this activity is ahead of that tropical wave. But right now, as we take a look across parts of Colombia, uh, there is some activity dissipating over there. We see some shower and thunderstorm activity noted in parts of Venezuela, going to Guyana, Suriname, not too much going on for French Guiana, but... But all this activity uh, is going to be moving and uh, going to later today and thus resulting in a lot of rainfall across the area. And so I urge you to all take the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks. And so Guyana, going to parts of northeastern Venezuela, also for Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, the Grenadines, uh, St. Vincent, Barbados, uh, even for St. Lucia as well. So there can be a lot of rainfall within these areas uh, as you're going to be headed into later this evening evening and then eventually heading into tomorrow. So not all uh, of these areas will start feeling impacts today. And now we want to go ahead and take a look at some other areas. For the northeastern Caribbean, the activity is clearing up this morning. So uh, areas that have been experiencing lots of showers and thunderstorms uh, should be seeing some uh, sunshine this morning for the most part. Not everywhere, but uh, most areas should because that activity is now uh, clearing up. There is still that chance of rainfall, especially as we're going to be heading to later today across the northeastern islands, but not as much compared to yesterday. And uh, heading over a bit more to the west now for parts of Hispaniola and Cuba, even for Jamaica as well. There was some shower and thunderstorm activity for some areas for Jamaica, the easternmost parishes, uh, the easternmost part of St. Thomas and Portland. Uh, likely experienced some activity this morning. You can let me know in the comments what conditions are like or were like for you uh, this morning. And then we see some activity also in the vicinity of the Bahamas, not as much for the Turks and Caicos Islands. And uh, for the Cayman Islands, though, things are in the clear this morning. Going over further to the west here to Central America, there is lots of showers and thunderstorms noted across some areas, especially uh, just in the vicinity of Costa Rica and Panama. And uh, there we have all that activity over to the uh, left side of your screen that's in association with Tropical Storm Beatrice. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall expected through today, after which we will be going on to Beatrice. And so uh, starting out here with the GFS model, and as this map becomes more colorful, the rainfall expected is higher. There we have that key over the right side of our screen. And this is the total rainfall expected through to uh, around 1 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. And so we can see that for the Northeastern Caribbean, as I said, that rainfall activity has decreased. So still that chance of some rain, but nothing too uh, intense. Now, as we're going to be heading to later today, as I said, because that tropical wave is in the area as well, that is going to enhance the potential for seeing more showers and thunderstorms storms developing. 
So lots of rainfall activity expected across parts of French Guiana, Suriname, Guyana. Uh, there might be uh, even be some flooding across some areas. So please be mindful of that, guys. And of course, some of that rainfall is likely in Trinidad and Tobago. Some substantial rainfall. And uh, next we have Venezuela, Colombia also expected to receive a lot of rainfall. There's going to be, uh, there is lots of moisture in the area favoring that. For the ABC Islands, unfortunately, nothing much today. Uh, heading over into Central America, though, we see that some rainfall activity activity uh, is likely across most areas, especially where we see those uh, shades of oranges and red. So some substantial rainfall likely there may be even isolated flooding across some flood prone areas. And then for the Northern Caribbean, uh, going to Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, and also going up into parts of South Florida and the Northwestern Bahamas, uh, Grand Bahama and Abaco, uh, some rainfall activity is likely within that area as well. And also for the Turks and Caicos Islands and the Southeastern Bahamas, there could be some activity, but for the central Bahamian Islands, though we're not seeing where much is expected. For the Cayman Islands, a lower chance of rain compared to uh, the neighboring Greater Antilles. Going on to the Euro model now, Euro is uh, expecting that there is going to be some rainfall within these same areas as well. So uh, the model is expecting that we're going to see some substantial rain for the Turks and Caicos Islands, uh, as well as Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and even most of the Virgin Islands. We're not really seeing St. Croix within that uh, yellow shading, so indicating that there's likely going to be less rainfall for the island for most of the lesser Antilles and Guila coming all the way down uh, maybe to around uh, St. Lucia there isn't much rainfall that is expected but as we head further south uh, going to St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada even for Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago the model is expecting that there will be some rainfall and like, uh, this is likely going to be heading to later today going to the evening hours or so and then a lot of rainfall across northern South America as well as southern Central America and also for Guatemala and Mexico uh, as what GFS is expected. And for the Bay Islands and Roatan, there's also that chance of some rainfall activity. So uh, here we have these models somewhat being in agreement in terms of which areas are going to be receiving rainfall. And so uh, not only for the southeastern Caribbean when that activity from the wave moves in, but overall, if there is a lot of heavy rainfall in your area, please do not take any unnecessary risks and take all the necessary precautions. Now let's go on over into the eastern Pacific. And here we can see that there are the two tropical cyclones. Uh, the stronger one is uh, Adrian, of course, that is to the uh, left side of your screen. So Adrian is a category two hurricane with winds of around 100 miles per hour. And so uh, it is likely at its peak intensity, but it, I think it has a chance uh, to maybe try to strengthen a bit more. But regardless, it is not going to be a threat to land. But what is a threat to land is tropical storm Beatrice, which is an intensifying cyclone expected to become a hurricane. So it's not too far from hurricane intensity as of right now and uh, we can see that there's lots of showers and thunderstorms in association with it so it's not the most organized storm out there and uh, a lot of this rainfall has already begun affecting some areas so let's move on to the cone forecast and uh, we see here that uh, there's that age along the uh, track that is expected and that is indicating that this is expected to become a hurricane and it should maintain intensity maybe to around early Sunday morning but as we head into uh, around Monday going to Tuesday and Wednesday, it is likely that this is going to continue to weaken and dissipate. And what will also help to limit the intensity is the land interaction uh, because if that center of circulation moves offshore, onshore, if it makes landfall, then we're going to see some weakening that is highly likely uh, for the cyclone here. And there are watches and warnings that are in place. That hurricane warning is in red, the tropical storm warning is in blue, and a tropical storm watch is in yellow, hurricane watch is in pink. And so uh, there are key messages from the National Hurricane Center. The first one states, uh, Beatrice is forecast to rapidly intensify and become a hurricane later today, bringing a risk of hurricane force winds and a dangerous storm surge to portions of the southwestern coast of Mexico during the next couple of days. A hurricane warning is now in effect for portions of the coasts of Guerrero, Michoacan, Colima, and Jalisco, and hurricane conditions are expected somewhere in those areas later today and on Saturday. The second key message reads, locally heavy rainfall is expected across southern Mexico from the state of Oaxaca westward to the state of Nayarit. These 
these rains could lead to life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides. So we see that uh, though Beatrice is not expected to become a very strong hurricane, it is still a very dangerous cyclone that will be bringing these impacts. And as such, I'm really hoping that everyone uh, is making those final preparations and uh, hunkering down to prepare to ride out the storm. And uh, hopefully everyone is going to be okay after Beatrice passes by. And so, of course, I'll continue to keep you guys posted on all that is happening. And uh, that is pretty much it for this update. So again, we have that rainfall about to move into the Caribbean later today and head into tomorrow, uh, which is likely going to be inducing some flooding across some areas, hopefully nothing too major. And uh, things are clearing up for the northeastern Caribbean. But later today, uh, there is likely going to be the development of showers and thunderstorms across the region. And so I hope that you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weather wise.